<clears throat> Hello everyone, welcome to a new X-Plane video. Last video you saw of X-Plane was um, a no commentary landing, but today we are going to be doing a full flight here today. Uh, plan is, we're down in Stansted, and we're going to fly to uh, to Oslo. Um, I'm going to cut this out definitely, some of the parts, because it's going to be quite the flight. But it should be fun. It should be fun. Um, everything's just new. I just spawned in, got the ground crew set up and everything. I need to still need to set up my fuel weight and stuff. Got a checklist with me, which I put somewhere. I'll to find it. Ah. Found it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go flying today. So, um, now that everything's set up, let's uh let's do this. So um let's uh let's close this. I wonder if this thing is Yeah, that's I prefer my I I use another one that a friend of mine made. Alright. So let's let's get this going. Uh ground crew is called the ground crew is called doors open. Weight and fuel is set, so let's do that. Let's go into flight. Let's go into configuration. Make sure you know, it's, it's uh, editing belt. So, I do not need four hours. I don't know how long the flight's gonna be. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how long it is. Where is the internet? Oh, that should be good. Alright, so we got, we got our fuel weight in. What is next? Ground power unit is connected. Battery and ground power switch is on. So, yeah. On steady, we have a little light on. Da, 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 da. Class and seat belts are on. The 10 button is tested and functional. Left and right IRS is, uh, switches are set to nav. Uh, ultimate is set, okay. FMC setups. So here's where the, the interesting stuff happens. So we gotta go down here to our FMC. Enter IRS heading. So let's go down here. FMC position in it. Reference airport. Is yeah, it's gonna anyway. Um, e G S S. Don't do that. Put that there. It's done. Origin is gonna be E G S S. Destination is Oslo, which I haven't actually searched up Oslo. E N okay, got it. E N G M, so it's gonna be E uh, N G M. Flight number is gonna be uh, Ryanair. So Ryanair five forty four. Don't need to do any of that. Is that reserved cost index? I don't even know. Trip slash cruise altitude. I can. Our cruise altitude today is going to be 32,000 feet. Cruise wind? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, take off. Uh, flaps are going to be. Five degrees. V1 is going to be 135. Rotate's going to be 140 knots. And V2 is going to be 160 knots. Right. 
there you go, departure. So runway zero four and two two. Um, let me just get this out. EGS is chart. So we need okay. We need departure charts. Okay, I'm not I'm not too good at this. Two three zero five. So if we're over there, we can just take runways two two. And what departure are we supposed to take here? Let's actually go E G S S departure. EGSS. I'm not sure where to go here. What we'll do is we'll take You know, we'll just go with what we think is right. So departures, these are the SIDs. Gotta pick the SIDs. Let's just go for the... Let's just sort of go as the crow flies and we'll pick the clean one -y. Departure, no transitions, activate, execute. Let's go back here, begin arrivals. Gonna take the ILS one right. Um, now we'll take the gold through GL. Root, okay, executed. And that's all right. What's next? Let's just go to our legs here. Whenever it says vector, we're supposed to delete it, right? Then... I don't know how to... Flight database. EGSS to EMGM. And just click on it here. Okay, so let's do Pipex. So that'll be P. P-I-P-E-X Then pipe X Execute Alright, nice so, Yeah, I, I can go right here And so what's next on checklist? Next is the pre-flight and uh, I immediately know what to do next. Yaw damper, fuel pumps, and cross feed valve, test functional, cabin utility, and IFE passes are already on. Uh, when 
the heats and hydraulic pumps on. Let's put these guys on. Uh, trim air and left and right recirculating fans. Uh, already on auto. Air compacts left auto, ISO valve open. That's already open. Cruise landing pressurization set. That's okay, so. Who's this gonna be 30? Did I already say 32,000 feet? Yeah. 100 feet. Uh, wheel well only. Okay, so wheel well light can turn off. I think we're all done actually with the uh, ground crew. So what I'm gonna ask them to do is take away uh, this, this, and that. And that means we're gonna go to the doors. Close these guys. So all we need is the forward and aft entries. But where was I? Ignition selectors, right? That's already star switch auto. Flight directors on. And look at that. The irises have aligned. This flight directors on. Courses to fit VOR are set. Um, I don't think it, uh, it tells us how that's going to go down, but whatever. It'll be okay. I'll just, it, it'll be fine. <laughs> okay. Where am I heading to set initial climb? Set. Okay, so here we go. Uh, bank angle set to 25. That sets RTO. In the meantime, we'll set what we need to set. So, airspeed is going to be... Uh, on departure, it's gonna be 190 knots. Can we arm the auto throttle? Nope. Well, let us do that. Uh, it's gonna be a straight up climb to 32,000. No traffic to worry about. World traffic is a thing, and I'm not on pilot edge or Batson or squawk box. This goes on. 32,000 feet. Enable vertical speed mode. It's gonna be plus 1,200 in the climb. Uh, speed will be selected. Heading selects will be on uh, 219. So we'll just set that as we go. And actually, that's the wrong way heading right there. Let's do that. Hmm. All right. What's next? Final pre flight. Okay, so let's start the flight leg. PA system. Do the work. Now I have it, I have it set for, um, I don't have any new ones yet, so it's just how it is. That's just gonna be how it is. Anyways, there it is, that's, we got everything hooked up. Um, trim and AP, okay, so let's start the APU. And let's do a bit of trim work, eh? Wait for the APU to be available. In the meantime, we will uh, pre-plan our pushback. So we are gonna, we are heading for that runway. So basically, we are gonna push back like this. Cool. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you're ready. That's a heavy British accent if I've ever seen one. Okay, APU is available. Now this is gonna make the play very angry. Ground power is gonna be off. And so we can tell the GPU that it can leave. Chimes only. Auto. Certain pushback. Okay, so. Now we know what it's going to do. I didn't do that for a little bit. Um, everything is set. Check our overhead panels. It does that uh, until we start the engines. Alright, so, we the chocks. We're push back. Press push back. It'll lag a little bit uh, when it does this. 
Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Alright. Actually, that's more of an Irish accent. What am I saying? Um, cabin loading set for takeoff. This is gonna be fun. That's like an older Ryanair livery over there. That's like an older one when they first started using the 737. We got BA-767, BA-146. And that alarm's just gonna sound until it decides it doesn't wanna sound. I'm sorry that I got so close there. That's just the default gate sound thing. What I, I look for, all my sceneries are freeware, and so this one's actually for X-Plane 10, so. This is the best I can get, so. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Ready to connect, sweet. Also, I'm gonna arm. Actually, wait, it tells us to do it in the checklist somewhere. Yeah, in the taxi checklist, it tells us to do that. Alright, when are you gonna push us back, eh? Oh, he's hooked onto us now. Yeah, we're getting hooked on. Really Expo connected and bypass pin inserted. Release parking brake. Parking brake released. Starting pushback and you may start engines. Anti-collision light comes on. Air compacts off. Engine starts switching number two. Set to ground. Let's monitor the RPM before we introduce fuel. Wait for 1.7. Then we introduce fuel. Mm -hmm. How come it's not starting? Low oil pressure. That's weird. Try and introduce fuel. No. Not starting. Okay. Let's try starting number one. Fuel. Looks like we're gonna have to cheat. Hey, quit blinding me with your landing lights. Turn them off. They are off. Oh, that, okay. No, it, there we go. What is going on? Did we introduce it too early? There we go. That's weird, they wouldn't start. And I guess we're gonna start like this too, but that's okay. Sit so doors. Alright. Oh, no. Wrong button. Alright, so, uh, let's, let's just let these guys run for a little bit, and we'll put the grass over for sure that disconnect. Set time for the break. And I hope this thing lets us go. Disconnecting toes, stand by. Alright, good. Um, once it's gone, we'll start the before taxi checklist. That was weird, though. And I hope this annoying beep goes off. Actually, I think I know how to get it off. 
Alright, before taxi engine joins one and two on. Disconnect on hand signals. If you switch off, which ones we can just permanently get these turns off. Probe heats on. So is disconnected and bypass pin has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Uh huh. Don't need that. Our complex or auto. Isolation valve is auto. APU bleed off. Was that it? I never had the bleed on. I think I must have missed that. Enjoying it. Okay, so take out flaps set. We're doing one, two, five. Flaps five. And flight controls check. So here we go. Let's just uh, turn this thing to our system. Yeah, there we go. System. So that's go left, go right, go forward, go back. Da 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 da. Awesome. Everything checks out. And we check. Okay, so left and right turn offs. Da da da. Back to the parking brake release. Trends only. All right, so let's release the parking brake. Times only is on. A ten button push. Oh, well, let's just arm all of that. All right, so um. Auto throttle won't work though, which sucks, but it's okay. All right, let's give this thing a little power. Let's go taxi to the gate. Or sorry, taxi to the runway. What am I seeing? So the next one is the before takeoff. Well, actually, we're gonna put. Weather and airports and for over here we want terrain. Okay, so where are we going here? We need to go to the wrong way. So let's go to the wrong way, wherever that is. Okay, so I think, okay, the runway's over there, and it's 2-2, two -two, I believe. So we'll go there. I'm gonna get that speed, hold on. If I can arm it, but it doesn't seem to be working anyways. That's cool. Those engines not starting was a very Ryanair thing to, to happen. Alright, let's turn here. And when we're holding short, we will start the uh, before takeoff checklist. parking brake. I already set the radar, so I need to get my transponder to T-A-R-A. -A. That's like Toga, I think. Position, position lights, strobe and, strobe and steady. Taxi lights off, landing lights on. And the next one is takeoff, so let's do this. Parking brake released, and let's give this thing a little bit of throttle. Get onto the runway. There we go. 
I hope this flight goes well, because I've been planning to do a flight for a while, and, uh, I don't know. I don't want to end it bad. Or anything like that. Here we are, let's go onto the runway. This is, this is it. This is the big moment. My gear's gonna clip that, isn't it? Or my engine. I don't know, that probably shouldn't be there. In real life, anyways. Here we go. 2-2. Two, two. Alright, here we go. So, plan is... ET thrust toga flight director. Okay, so... Start the clocks. Toga. And let's give this thing a little bit of throttle. Here we go. Airspeed alive. Wait for 60. Eighty knots. Eighty knots. Whoa, getting squirrely. Whoa, whoa. Come on. Wait for that V1. V1. Rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Whoa. That was nuts. Well, that sure wanted to get up off the ground. 400. Alright, once we get to a thousand feet, we can get the autopilot going. Whoa. Alright, a thousand feet. One thousand. This is nuts. What's going on here? Maybe it's VNAV. What is going on here? Is it trying to get with the VOR? Really? Alright, well this is a little weird. Climb. Yeah, there we go. It should be doing that, right? These are some crazy winds, dude. Holy moly. You know what, let's go to act, no, it's not it. How do you act a leg? I see, no, okay. Okay, I guess we're gonna fly manually then.
guess we're gonna fly manually. And these are just our guides. I'll fix that later. And we're also gonna set this to 10 to make it at least a little bit more comfortable. Yeesh. Alright, let's retract the flaps. And bring the speed up to like 240. I kinda wanna get into this turbulence fast. Like, wow. Okay, what else is there? So flaps up, altimeter is landing your can go to the off position. Back to off. Auto brakes. Yeah. Terrain radar and airport button. Airport and terrain. I, I think it was trying to get with the VOR or something. I don't even know though. Let's see if I can do like a. Just a little screenshot of that. Hmm. Next thing on the checklist is to flip the landing lights off at 10,000 feet. And we'll wait for that. The good news is, is that I know how to do a route now. And I'll just fly this route until I can figure out how good it is. This is my first time flying this. This has been an interesting experience. I downloaded Ortho for XP, and it's like, sort of working. I mean, I know it sounds a bit stereotypical about Britain, but like, is this really what it is? Just a bunch of farming fields and stuff? I don't know, but I'm cool with it. There's the English channel over there. Oslo's gonna be about, uh, Oslo's gonna be like maybe Two hours and thirty minutes away. Thanks. All right, so brake pressure. Ah, well, it's in the green. That's good, obviously. So VNAV is turning in basically the opposite direction of where it should be turning. Okay. I mean, okay. We're coming up on uh, Sierra Sierra Echo 11. Uh, I hope it activates when I get there. Actually, you know, let's just go like that. And I think we're nearing the end of this turbulence, coming up on 10,000 feet. And we'll turn our landing lights and turn off. So. Alright, here we go. Those are off. Start switches. Already on auto. I think they were supposed to be on continuous on the ground, but I forgot, obviously. Uh, Seatbelt set to auto. Wait, no. It was for level off. The last three parts of the checklist are for level off. Alright, 
Alright, next one is Sierra Sierra Echo 18. Sierra Sierra Echo 23. Yeah. So on, then we make our turn to uh, cross the channel. Next waypoint is going to be Pipex, and then it's going to be the approach into Oslo. So it's going to be a pretty straightforward flight. And we're under oh no, the turbulence, which is awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm going to have to see you guys in part two for the next episode of this series. Where I fly from Stansted to Oslo in Norway. And uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe if you like the channel. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.